uh, Coach Mann's back for, I guess, her sixth season in charge up in Boston. Yes. Uh, how's it going so far? It's going really well. Um, I'm very pleased with our kids and the attitude that they came back with this this year. And, you know, they spent a lot of time together this summer just really bonding and, and really valuing being with each other. And I think that really helped us. So I'm very excited about the season. Well, Coach, you have three returning starters this season. How important is that for you in terms of developing your chemistry? Very important. I think we lacked a lot of team chemistry last season and it showed, it showed on the court, frankly. So I think the fact that we're a much closer team, better cohesive cohesiveness within the program and better leadership overall. I think the scoring is going to help us compete, but the leadership this year will help us win. Right. You, know, you spoke of the bonding process. Was that something that just happened because they were in summer school or was, was it a planned thing? Um, I think the, the season that we had last year really taught them valuable lessons. Our, our motto last year was talent is never enough. And I thought we had the most talented team last year, but they lacked so many intangibles, um, which leads to success. And I think the returning players learned that things like team chemistry and work ethic and just the little things that you know players don't really pay particular attention to are important for a team to be successful mm -hmm. and our returners really learned that they valued that experience last year and they're just so eager to just really change a lot of attitudes about who we are as a team and just you know frankly allow that to help us win games and your front court is very strong as well as the back court but who are going to be some of the key players in the front court for you well you know this is the first time i've had three players over six three mm -hmm. so i'm very excited about that but um i think their toughness their ability to rebound on the defensive end is going to help us that was a weakness for us last year um but just being able to have our front court play be a, con a contributor to our offense this right. year i think is going to be great i'm really looking forward to uh, christine huber being a big part of our offense mm -hmm. and obviously defensively with her ability to block shots I think is going to be great um, you know Christine is eager to be that marquee player she meant to be was meant to be coming out of high school mm -hmm. so I'm excited for her I think you know was, last year was a big adjustment for her only playing half the season and right. really learning you know how to compete again um, mm -hmm. but I'm very excited for her as well as my other two uh, big post players that right. we do have um, just our front court game is really going to excel this year. That's going to help our guards, yes. you know, get off a lot more sh shots and, you know, just be, you know, competitive overall. Right. You know, it looks like, uh, you know, the highlights we saw, it was bombs away from, from downtown oh, yeah. with a oh, lot yeah. of those threes. Uh, I mean, do you like relying on the threes like that, or would you prefer to take it inside? Uh, right. Well, it's part of our dribble drive offense. Three are key. Either you're going to the basket, you know, getting layups, or you're taking three-point shots. And we work at it a lot. We get, you know, we shoot like three times a week just in shooting practice alone, 45 minutes. And, um, you know, our kids, I mean, I recruit three-point players, three three-point shooters. Um, you know, my bigs have to be able to shoot the three as well as my guards. And it's something we work on. And, you know, with this game, anything you work on and you, you're you disciplined about, it becomes your product. Right. So three-point shooting is part of what we do. And, you know, when you have four players out there that shoot the three-point shot and each one of them is, you know, taking four, yeah. maybe three shots, it adds up. But overall, it's not like we have one player taking 15 threes. It's just part of what we do. We like it. Our kids like it. And um, I think it's going to be very success we're going to be very su successful this year, taking better shots. Right. And it's also tough to guard when you have oh, yeah. post players that sure. can step out and score. Right. And your schedule this season, mm -hmm. outside of the CAA, you're playing Georgia. Georgetown, you yes. know, these are some tough Bring teams as well as, Kentucky, <laughs> as well as Kentucky, as well as Kentucky, and and discuss the philosophy of taking on those challenges early. Right. Well, we want to we want to learn through our experiences early in the non-conference mm -hmm. schedule and. Um, Playing these teams, I'm trying to get my players to understand what it takes to be successful and how to compete. Um, we're not necessarily looking for, you know, the, the score at the end of the game, but our product and how we competed and how we played and how it felt being on that stage. Right. And those are the important lessons I want my right. kids to learn. And that will lead us into the CAA where we have, you know, opportunities to showcase right. what we've learned in a non-conference and hopefully win. But, you know, my kids are very focused on what we need to do, um, you know, be better offensively, right. share the ball, um, take care of the basketball, and defensively get some defensive rebounds and dictate to our opponents. We are in control of what we, we do best, and we're not looking for the overall result. We're just looking to, to, put, to get a better product and to right. showcase our product. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, every year at these media events, they do preseason polls. There are 12 schools. Somebody has to be number 12 in this case. You're number 12. Right. You take that back to your kids and use that as a, a motivating factor of right. the lack of respect that you feel like you're getting? Well, you know what? We're not here to please the coaches in the league. We're not here to please the media. We're here to be pleased with our product. 
And as long as our kids are focused on that goal, which is obviously, like I said before, yeah. our defensive goals of being a better rebounding team, our offensive goals of sharing the basketball and just playing better, as long as we're focused on those goals, I think our, you know, we'll be better and our product will be better. It doesn't really matter um, about the respect that we have. We just want to respect ourselves and our product. Um, and you know, last time I checked, we all start zero and zero. That's right. It's not That's like true. they, you know, the first team, team, first place team has five wins and we got to play catch up and you know we have very strong leadership and we're going to lead from behind this year all right, all right. Danny, good luck to you this thank year thank you very thanks much thanks for stopping by right. go to espn3 for the complete replay of the 2011 caa basketball media day live